All right, morning everyone. So we're out again up the creek. We're gonna try and get a barra first up. Um, there's been a few around the last few days. We'll see how we go with that. And then when the tide drops and starts to run in, probably try and get a jack, trev, cod, really just everything in the estuary is the goal for today. We've got some big lures, got some small lures, got about eight rods on the boat between us. So yeah, we're just gonna snag bash, really hit everything with structure and hopefully get a few. Let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to start with the big prawn. Just rig standard. There's this nice big gum tree here with all these gums along this bend. Just going to flick it in and see if there's anything sitting on them. This, this type of prawn, eh, sometimes it absolutely gets so much love and affection. Other times, not even a hit, eh? Yeah. It drives you nuts. Because the times it fires, you go, oh my god, this thing's amazing. Yeah. Snagged it already. Yeah, I'm never going to fish another lure. And then other times you go, this thing is dog shit. What am I doing with my life? You know? Oh, that was a barra. Oh, man. Oh. Did you see him? Oh. He had it too. He had it the second time. I didn't even feel the hit. It's when I went to hop, hop it. Yep, got him. No, is that one? No, tree that time. Oh, man. Yeah, it's because I went to hop it and it, it was obviously in his mouth because of the slack. So he's cummed up, he's cummed up. up. He was all cummed up and grabbing it. <laughs> oh. But you think, like I said, how many like little flicks and casts and stuff was that? So first barra hooked up and that little prawn. You'd seen him, he's probably about a 50, maybe a 60. Yeah, he just didn't find the hook, just went straight over this log and disappeared. So I've caught him on that log before and we've caught a few up further. That's why we're trying to get one today, but we'll see how it goes. That's right. Shit day to be a white Z man. Oh, yeah, mate. On the drop. Get the dog. Jack. Yeah, it's a big one, too. <laughs> I'm a prawny boy. All right, so we just had him in a live well. We just grabbed some photos of him, but check that out. So this is a snag I got a barrer on a little while ago. That's sort of what we're after. So we've got heavy leaders, bigger lures, and he just absolutely down the hatch. Look at those teeth. That is so cool. But yeah, we've grabbed um, we've grabbed some photos. Next step is we're going to tag this fella. We're going to let him go. But yeah, forty. This is forty or fifty pound leader on this one. Just thirty pound braid. Said we're just purely after barra. Well, we wanted jacks, but later because we figured out the jacks are more of an afternoon bite. But yeah, yeah, it's very very cool. But so we'll put him back in. We'll tag him. and We'll let him go. So, I'm not going to carry him around, we're just going to um, let him go straight here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Do you like it? I don't think it works that way. Wait a minute. Oh, this wind is just great for this light prawn. It's beautiful, beautiful. Just really ripping it down there.
catch some jar of far on jerk bait, then I come out with a prawn. <laughs> That's my logic for you right there. They're hitting a jerk bait, they're definitely gonna hit a prawn. Put that rock again. This is where I got my hits when I came down this rock up here. Oh, bit me under there. Oh, that hurt. Look at that line for just from <laughs> how light it is. I gotta keep the rod like this. Yeah, you keep moving it, yeah. <sighs> Try right up the front where I did before you cast. Go right up on that angle and bring it down those rocks. rocks. Yeah. Yep. Because that's where I had the. I got something. That's how it is. Mm, first cod of the day. Big boy. Little gold spot estuary cod. Mate, why weren't we fishing prawn lures for the last two days? We've done a quick motor further up. We got this nice bend with these big logs. So we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. We're just gonna fish these light plastics down these logs, try and get something. Got about three hours before a low. So hopefully we can pick something else up. What? Splash prawning? Splash prawning. It's like regular prawn. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, good fish, good fish. Trevi. Trevi, yeah, uh, I think. Mm. Definitely doing that run. Yeah, it's getting that head bob, eh? Definitely increased our cod capture for the day, haven't we? How many is that? We're actually crushing it. We got like five fish, a jack, three cod, and a trev. Yep. Many are hit. Yeah. So it's not, not unproductive. It's just we were fishing it wrong. We were fishing too big, too fast. With the jerk baits and stuff, eh? What are, you what are you tossing out? Could have been this one actually. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think I cast like that and when I was bringing it out, it was just non-stop tree. But I remember that one over there was massive too, that tree in general. Mm. Well, are you feeling branches? Yeah, I was. For sure. Well, the prawns go up there. Oh! Oh! oh. oh big. Forty pound gone. I think that was a jack. I don't think that was a barrow man. So we'll tie on a fresh one, we'll keep going. You need your barrow and you trumped me. Okay. I think it's very shallow, man. Right on top of the tide, not now. So I can drop you off. Nope. Oh, 
Might have been better to get a, a hot. Oh. Oh, better. It's a big one. It's gonna jump. Nope. Oh, it's a trev. Wow. I was wrong about the barra. Yeah, it's because he came to the top and I seen the silver. Yeah. Wow, what a fish though. Quality, Jake. I'm almost cramping. What a fatty. So I'm a little bit on edge if it doesn't show because just got absolutely towered up back there on that big prawn. And then yeah, him. Big solid. Just over 50 centimetre GT. He crunched that prawn. I seen the silver as he came across it and then he started going deep and that's why I was thinking, shit, I've got a big barra here just because of how much line he was stripping. But yeah, we eventually seen him side on and realised we hooked him under the chin. But he is a stonker. And he just came on. Oh, it's all serrated up now a bit, but yeah. He's serrated all that. That's just a big prawn. 127 mil, it's just a Zarek thing. I think everyone's got different versions. There's an Akoda, there's a Samaki. Everyone's got their own version of it, but yeah. Pretty happy with that. We'll send him back and we'll keep going. A big, big boy. Big oh, boy. Yeah, Look at him go. Yeah, he's, he's, he's tailing on the surface now. He doesn't know what's going on. Had a hit on the wind in. And then you stop and you don't get a follow up. Oh, GT, got him. Oh, oh no, it's a salmon. salmon. It's a blue nose salmon. I've never caught one of them here. Donut, mate. Well, something I have never ever caught, nor caught here, is my first blue nose salmon. So, little thready, little whisker boy. Oop. He's only like 50 centimetres, but super cool. He charged down that prawn, a couple of, had a couple of hits, burn it back in, and he just absolutely roasted it. Well, he didn't really roast it. I thought it was a trev. That's what I was going for. Just watched him come along and grab it. Yeah, the poor guy didn't stand much of a chance against that, but that's really cool. That's really cool. We've had a bit of a weird day today. We've had to find current and predominantly structure to get our fish. and. We're pushing up. We've only got another two bends um, until the tide changes anyway, because we're not going to go much further than that. But we're hopeful, we're still hopeful. We got one more good bend loaded with trees. Hopefully we can get something out of that. But we'll keep pushing and we'll see how we go. All right, so we just come into this bend. We just fished the whole way through. We got one baby touch and we're like, we, we knew there should be barra here. So we jumped on the sound and we had a look. We just picked up nine in front of a tree. So the plan is, I'm gonna get the old jerk bait out. I'm gonna have a hit at them because we fished this with prawns and we didn't naturally come across them. So now we're thinking, we're gonna try and irritate these fish. Let's see if we can get a bite. Mm, we're all over it, mate. Oh, that's that's too hot. That is way too hot, that thong. Here's a, here's a tip for you too. Wet them. Actually, no, the tide's still running out. There's a leaf moving out. Very slowly. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nice, mate. Persistence. All right, guys. So we, we oh. all right. So we were having a chat. We figured we'd get the um the big camera out for it, just because we got exactly what we're after. It's just the 
the wrong size for what's in there, but yeah, little tiny barrel. So stoked with that, 41 centimeters on 127 mil prawn, but it's exactly what we wanted. It's the wrong size, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's one of the fish I really wanted to get today. And I worked hard to get it, but yeah. It's absolutely stoked. It's just such good condition. A little bit of yellow in the tail and yeah, what we'll do, we'll grab some photos as usual and then we're just going to swim him on his way. We're going to keep peppering the snag and hopefully we can get one of the bigger ones that are in there. So we got our photos with him and we'll just um, give him a swim. We had him in the live well for a little bit just to um, get some fresh water in him, keep him all pretty while we were sorting stuff. But yeah, he's a gorgeous little fish. So cool. So cool. Okay, he's biting down, he's ready to go.